Hey everyone, welcome to my stream today. Today I'll be doing a review on Watch Dogs Legion and what I think about it so far. I have not completed the game yet, but I am on my way there. Um, please like and comment and follow for more videos like this if you guys really like it. Thank you. Okay, so this is going to be my raw reaction, my raw review to the, um, the new Watch Dogs Legion's game. Just because I don't feel like editing too much of it because I want to give out my best opinion about this game so so far i played all the watchdogs i played one two and this one i i would say that um this game will probably be my favorite and not by far it's only because um i feel like each time they make a new watchdogs game they either leave stuff out or they cut they kind of cut corners is what i'm trying to say they cut corners on different aspects of the game watchdogs one um was kind of more of like combat missions and you know knock this guy out or it was more the missions were a lot more specific and a little bit more dynamic even though it wasn't that dynamic to begin with but i felt like i felt like um everything was kind of equally balanced like the driving the combat the hacking was equally balanced so i did like um Watch Dogs one my only thing with that game was the story, I didn't really like how it ended, but that's just my opinion. I, I, I still think it was an okay story. Um, another, the second one, I guess, was um, Watch Dogs 2. It was, it was okay. Uh, it's really good if you want to do multiplayer. That It's definitely fun if you want to do that. I think they did really good with the hacking. They made it a lot more dynamic and a lot more complicated than the first one. Um... The story was really, really short. And what I mean by that is that you can complete the story in maybe one day. It really wasn't that long. It wasn't that complicated. It, um, you know, I think the, I don't want to spoil anything. I really don't want to spoil anything. That's why I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. So I don't spoil too much, you know, for the gamer who plays this game. Uh, I think it's definitely worth buying. I think I got it as a Christmas gift, so I'm not really sure what it costs now. Hopefully, it's not still 60 bucks because it's definitely not worth 60 bucks. Um, and I am still talking about Watch Dogs Legion. Um, but yeah, so going on to the actual game that I'm reviewing, uh, Watch Dogs Legion was is okay. You know, like at first, it was pretty fun for the first couple of hours I played it because, you know, there's so much to do and it's a different dynamic, it's a different country. It's, it's um, it's in Europe, obviously. It's in London. And I think the scenery was actually pretty beautiful. They kind of they kind of got it really accurately. Um, I, I do have to say that it was kind of overwhelming um, at first. Just because um, you have drones flying in the air. You have drivable cars. It's supposed to be kind of futuristic. But at the same time, it's supposed to have, like, I guess, modern day themes. Um, but it kind of was all in your face at once. Okay, so next is the driving. The driving basically was really bad. You know, especially when it rained, because I know weather effects. They're trying to do this new thing where weather, like, if it rains, it affects how the player drives. It just makes the gameplay worse when it comes to driving. I know this is not a driving-based game. This is a hacking-based game, so it kind of had to spread their resources to other areas of the game but um yeah that's just like one little pet peeve i have with this game the driving just kind of sucks it makes you just want to fast travel everywhere because it's just like the distances are far well i don't think i don't think the distances are really the problem i think i like the fact that they had a big map for this game um but yeah the driving really was not it you know it's really easy to hack the drones and to hack the cars um, that's actually going to lead into my next segment of this video, which is basically how the hacking works in this game. Okay, so what I don't like about the hacking, um, so basically it's extremely oversimplified, you know, it's, the hacking... That's what I like about Watch Dogs 2 is that the hacking was a lot more complicated. And, you know, some people like puzzles. Some people really don't like puzzles. I usually don't like puzzles, but Watch Dogs, Watch Dogs 2 did it in a way that I liked. You know, it made it a little bit more complicated. You kind of had to run all over the room just to 
hack a door, even though it was tedious and annoying, but they didn't do it so much to the point where it was kind of like in your face all the time. Uh, the thing with Watch Dogs Legion is that the hacking is extremely simplified for everything. You get unlimited, um, unlimited hacks for basic stuff. Like, anything, basically. Uh, so the enemy, let me give you a scenario. Let's say if you try to infiltrate the enemy's, you know, combat zone or whatever. You try to hack in a car. You can do it unlimited times until they start to notice. And then they start to, um, shut that vehicle down so you, you can't hack that vehicle anymore. You got to do another one. This is the part of the game that actually gets boring, so I'm just going to combine it into this next segment. Um, so like what I said with hacking how it's extremely simplified, you know, a baby can do it, basically. There's not that many puzzles, and when there are puzzles, there's, like, maybe two or three switches you're gonna have to switch over. Uh, this kind of transitions into the missions. So the missions, this is why it gets boring. The missions are basically all the same. You do the same thing throughout the game. This is where it gets boring. The first 10 hours, you're mainly, that's, like, the best part of the game is that you're recruiting people and you can uh, meet different people with different skills and stuff and it kind of changed the combat dynamic of the game slightly not really and it really depends it really depends whether you go on permadeath mode or if you just don't go on permadeath mode permadeath mode basically is like if one of your team members died they're dead forever you just got to replace them with a new one it kind of has like a state of decay kind of vibe to it where you kind of have to resupply yourself with people and kind of gets annoying a little bit but that's honestly the only thing you have to do in this in this game really um yeah like it's just it's so boring because everything's the same there's not a lot of different types of missions like one and two had different types of missions even though that was kind of boring it's still had a dynamic of missions you know it's like with this um game also rem reminded me of was just cause four where you have a bunch of providences and you have to like liberate them i feel like watchdogs this is <laughs> now that i'm thinking about this is like a like an abstract thought for me right now because i just got it in my head so what i think watchdogs did was basically rip off just cause four but made it more in a way that you have to kind of hack everything to because it's a hacking game, you know, it's for hackers or dead sec or whatever. You kind of have to, like, you know, overthrow this, basically. And, oh my god, I can't believe I'm thinking about this right now. Because, like, I, I don't want to spoil anything. I really don't want to spoil anything. So, I'm just going to keep it short. Uh, so, you know how Just Cause 4, Just Cause 4 basically has providences that you have to conquer, just like Watch Dogs Legion. So... The only difference is hacking. <laughs> You're basically doing everything the same. It's basically like a copy, cut, and paste. There's not that many activities for you to do. You have to assemble a um, resistance or whatever. It's it's kind of like a copy and paste of Just Cause 4, basically. Like, the whole franchise, really, if you really want to be in depth in, I hope someone else makes a video. I might make another video comparing it to Just Cause 4, because damn, now that I think about it, it's like a, a, a copy and paste. But, um yeah so <laughs> that's funny uh that's why it's so boring because there's really nothing to do and i heard there's nothing to do after you defeat the game either besides recruit new people um the story so far is not that interesting okay so basically i have not completed the game like i said in my intro um, I'm still in the beginning part of it, I guess. There really isn't much to this game that you can really say is really fun and enjoyable besides recruiting people. The missions suck. The story so far, I really don't like it. It's kind of, kind of cliched. I feel like you can, you can watch a Law & Order episode and get more content from that than you can could from this game. Um... But yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad game, but I don't think it's a really good game. I think it's more like a 5 out of 10-ish. Yeah, that's a pretty accurate score. Yeah, 5 out of 10. You know, the bare minimum of a video game. <laughs> Especially in 2020. You know, you kind of have your standards a little bit higher now. But um, it feels like this game is definitely lacking something. And I feel like... And I, I, I am very optimistic because 
this game just got released like a month ago or whatever. So they're probably going to update it and give us some new content. Hopefully it's not DLC because I'm not paying a pe another penny for this game. I hate when you pay for games. You pay almost 100 bucks and they expect you to pay like another $20 for content that should have been on there when it was already... When you were already playing it the first time, you know, like, I hate that. I feel like they just try to steal more of your money. Like, if you really sat down and calculated how much money you spend on the game, you know, with the intro currency and all that, you would probably be spending almost $200 on a game. You could buy a pair of sneakers. Like, <laughs> that's kind of just the most. But, um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much the end of my video. Five out of ten. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. I'll show more videos like this if this video gets a lot of likes or views. Um, but yeah, if you have any concerns. Oh, also, I wanted to tell you that um, I'm making new turtle content soon. I know I've been mostly video games. I'm trying to experiment with some stuff. But um, yeah, I will definitely be making more turtle videos since you guys like that so much. Thank you guys for your support. Um, it should be out by like tomorrow or the day after. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Have an awesome day. See you guys later.